Iya. Hai. Yo Krishna. Hai sir. Oh, you learned about site reliability engineering, right? During the coaching. Yes sir, yes. So, are you going to explain in today's session what it is? how it is connected through devops and what are the operations in ops team or a site reliability engineer role activity such kind of things are you ready yes sir yes oh, yeah please go ahead okay <clears throat> so today uh, we are going to uh, discuss about uh, site reliability engineering so basically first of all uh, we need to know what is the site reliability engineering and how it works with uh, devops and related uh, topics so okay we'll go to the uh, one by one so if you see the site reliability engineering basically uh, so we, uh, we all know right uh, site reliability engineering is uh, similar to the devops uh, but uh, it has uh, <coughs> uh, it is the we are using the uh, software tools uh, to automate our uh, IT infrastructure uh, task like uh, system management and uh, application monitoring when the application is on uh, production systems. And uh, this uh, organizations use uh, this SRE to ensure their software applications uh, remains always in the reliable only. And uh, we'll get uh, the frequent updates from the development teams. And the SRE especially, it improves the reliability of the scalable uh, software systems. Uh, so because uh, the, we are managing the large systems uh, by using this uh, software, so it is more sustainable than the manual managing hundreds of machines with this help of the site reliability engineering uh, methods. So if you can see here the diagram. So mainly uh, the site reliability engineering practices can help us uh, uh, reliability of, of our applications on the production systems and uh, we can scale up uh, this uh, always we can uh, scale up this application uh, up and running so the end users uh, cannot can able to access this application at any time and the performance of the our uh, application is also very good by using this uh, site reliability engineering practices So if you see here in the Venn diagram, uh, so basically uh, the DevOps concept is uh, uh, is a common for uh, in the on opera, uh, all operations. Uh, yeah. So it is associated with the uh, site engineering and the platform engineering and the technology operations. So how this uh, site uh, reliability engineering can associated with the DevOps and the remaining platform engineering and also the technology operations. So we will discuss this uh, Venn diagram. So so before that, uh, we need to discuss the what is the difference between this DevOps and the site reliability engineering. So we'll uh, go through this uh, slide. So if you see here, uh, the what is the difference between mainly the DevOps and versus SRE? So if you see this, uh, DevOps is mainly focusing on the improving uh, the speed and quality of our software uh, delivery by using the CI/CD pipeline, right? But uh, when if you focus on the SRE, so basically the SRE is mainly focused on uh, ensuring the applications uh, reliability and performance of the uh, systems and services. And uh, the DevOps team can handle the tasks such as like uh, CACD, continuous integration and delivery, and also using the infrastructure automation and testing the applications to deploy into the various environments. But uh, while SRE teams can handle the task like uh, incident response, uh, maybe if I uh, someone gets uh, like uh, any error, so we need to resolve that one and in the production systems, and we need to monitor this, and also we need to alerting the and uh, capacity planning while uh, the applications are in production systems. So make sure we need to uh, uh, identify and uh, which uh, errors are uh, there in the application, then we need to resolve that one. So if you see this uh, site reliability engineering, so wh what is the site reliability engineering uh, before? Uh, oh, how we can uh, do this uh, site reliability engineering, right? Uh, so before that, uh, we need to, first of all, we need to 
uh, verify this uh, hardware and software resources availability so as per the infrastructure architecture so first of all basically we have uh, infrastructure architecture so for, for that uh, first of all we need to check this uh, hardware and software resources for that uh, uh, sre and uh, we need to build this architecture and also we verify this architecture and the second one is we need to test this uh, software performance testing validation also and the hardware validation for the both uh, this one and if you come across this platform engineering operation thing like uh, we need to create this platform for an existing infrastructure then we need to do this uh, voice uh, operating system validation whether this uh, able to <coughs> can handle this uh, infrastructure maybe so and we need to deployment of builds is uh, can place into this uh, inside this platform engineering and uh, once the deployment is ready we can package this as per our code process processes uh, like uh, java or any c++ or anything so once the package is ready then we can roll out uh, roll over this build into the different environments like sit uat and production environments then after that we can execute this uh, sre uh, one and two steps uh, as we discussed here one and two steps so this is about the technology operations so here uh, we need to identify the technology so in which technology we are going to uh, create this uh, infra infrastructure and also the remaining uh, validation like uh, deployments builds and packaging that one so basically it will identify the technology for uh, to design and develop and deploy our uh, applications into this production level and also we need to follow this uh, platform engineering steps after that uh, technology operations so these are all associated with devops uh, so devops uh, engineers will collaborate with uh, other teams so, so that they can communicate with other uh, teams and uh, solve the issues if any issues are coming so if you see uh, devops are typical activities uh, what is the typical activities of devops so whenever the code is uh, built by the developers so first of all we are we are going to plan the code and we are going to build the code so once the uh, code is ready so we are going to package this build so once the package is also ready we are going to deploy into these various environments like uh, we need to identify the environment then we are going to create and set up this environment and uh, deploying this builds on the environments then we are going to execute this automated scripts uh, with the tools for the deployment purpose then if any defects are occurs then we need to track and resolve these defects so otherwise we can make alerts to this uh, uh, teams uh, development teams so if it is failed then it will go to the step one again so if it is not uh, failed then we need to check this uh, uat so uat environment so if it is approved then we can roll out to this another environment like uh, uh, sit or uat environments and production environments That's all? Yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> right. It is a good uh, study. You have done it. You understood and compared with the DevOps activities also. So let us do some mock interviews on SRE roles also in future. 